wow, that is one of the only words that I can use to explain Steel Vengeance, the new RMC that came to Cedar Point in 2018, and this is my personal favorite coaster in the world, and probably the best coaster ever built. And what I'll be doing today is I'll be reviewing it. I'll be giving you my full thoughts on every single thing about this coaster, giving me my full experiences and like what I liked about it, which is like I liked every single part of it. I mean, just to say how good this coaster is. And like when this review is being posted, I have ridden uh, this coaster four times when I went to Cedar Point, and one of them was a night ride. So I've gotten some pretty good experiences on it. So I'm giving you guys a pretty good review on like all the experiences that I have had on it. Now going to one of this coaster was being built, it was having questions that does this coaster was it gonna have pacing issues and it is definitely not. It is absolutely like full speed through the whole ride like the brakes like slow it down but it doesn't slow it down enough you're actually like flying through the course like the whole time you never let up like you never like it never like rolls to the end like slow it's like going at like, a high speed through the whole ride and that's one of the things i really enjoy about it so so like so start off with the stats i mean like of course this coaster is located at cedar point it is made by R. MC. My personally, it's my, it's personally my favorite um, manufacturer. RMC, they just give you like the best rides out there. All of them are like really smooth, and they just have like full of intensity and a direct airtime, airtime hills, and like that's exactly what this ride is. Has an absolute ton of ejector airtime hills um it has a lot of banks and this coaster overall it's just insane it has all of those inversions that just makes it insane and then this coaster is 205 feet tall the um the same height as the coaster that started the coaster wars magnum xl 200 in the same park it is 74 miles per hour great speed really fast actually for 205 feet tall it has uh, four inversions and all of those inversions are very solid and it has a length a very long length actually of 5740 feet so the stats are very impressive for rmc so of course it's cedar point so they're gonna go as big as they can by giving that many that many uh stats and it's 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 definitely one of the tallest it is the tallest rmc out there um you're gonna have a lot of great elements but of course i mean like for most rides it does the height and the speed and all of those statistics uh statistics do not mean uh that much it like I mean, like the the uh, stats on this ride barely even mean anything. I mean, I mean they mean something, but I mean just the whole experience. Like, if you have a short coaster, it can still be a really great ride. But this coaster is long, and it still is a fantastic coaster. It is my personal favorite coaster that I have ridden. Um, it is my number one, better than every single other coaster that I've ridden. It is just an all-around fantastic coaster. So now is the time where I'll be going through the whole ride, giving you my opinion on every single element that you get on this coaster. Almost every single element is one of the best elements you can ever find on the coaster. All the elements are great. It has a great layout, really intense layout. And one of the main things about that layout is it has some insane airtime moments. All of the airtime moments are ejector, even the one that's like 100 feet high is it's still you get flown out of your seat so of course you are going to leave the station you are going to turn around you're going to go through these two little bunny hops and then you are going to go up the lift hill this is 200 and five feet tall um you're going to go up it. it is actually a very loud lift hill like most of the rmc's nowadays are getting some really loud lift hills this one especially and other ones like twisted timbers they have like real loud lift hills and then you're going to go up that Get some great views of all of Cedar Point. If you look behind you, you can see all of the rest of the park. And then you are going to go get to the peak. And then you are going to go down this drop. And this uh, drop is one of the best drops you could ever find on any coaster. 
it is straight down, 90 degrees down, and then, like, of course, in the back seat, you were going to get whipped over it. You're going to be flying out of your seat down that, and then you were going to go down and go through one, the fastest airtime moment in the world. You're going to get this little pop, and you just, like, fly out of your seat a little bit, and it's a very great element. Just example of what the next ejector airtime hills are to come on this ride and then you're going to go up through this massive airtime hill you're going to twist up and go over you are going to go pretty fast over that you're just pulled over that and that is ejector airtime right there just of how tall it is and you get ejector airtime hill ejector airtime on it is just pretty insane and then you're gonna go through that and then you're gonna go through this sideways airtime hill you are gonna be like on every single airtime moment on this ride you are absolutely getting fly like you're absolutely flying out of your seat and on some of the little ones you're just getting whipped out whipped out of your seat you can go the sideways airtime great moment and then you are gonna go down and go through another pop of airtime and then go through this barrel roll but then you are gonna go like through the barrel roll and then you're gonna go through like then a half of one like half upside down but like barrel roll and then just half over and then you are gonna go down and go through this bank turn this pushes it all oh, this is pretty high in the air and then you're gonna go down through this inversion where you're gonna go down if you're going down but you're gonna go up you're gonna go up but you're not gonna go all the way like over you're just gonna go up go upside down and then turn back the way you've started to go through it so that is you're just gonna go up there and then you're just gonna be whipped the other way and then it's a very um great element you can find that element on another rmc coaster wicked cyclone six flags new england and then you will go on uh through that go through another pop of airtime down and then you are going to go through it actually in my opinion one of the strongest airtime moments on the ride you are going to go up go through this very strong airtime and you're going to bank up very strong airtime and then you're going to go bank up and then you're going to go into um the mid course break run it does slow you down a little bit but i mean i it ha basically has no effect on it i mean i mean is then you're gonna just slow down a little bit, but then you're just gonna go through this another great drop backseat, always the best on these great drops like these, and then you're gonna go through this double up. You're gonna, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a twisting double up, but you can twist on the first hill and then go through the second one, uh, airtime hill, and you go down, and then you're gonna have this outward bank where you get near the road, and then you're gonna go down go through another bank turn and then you're gonna go through the barrel uh, barrel roll right under the structure very nice element um and then you're gonna go through these two another of these two little ejector airtime hills flying out of your seat i mean just a, a, another great airtime moment and then you're gonna go through go through another bank go through a barrel roll um and then you are going to go through these airtime moments, which are going to be insane to end out the ride. There are actually six bunny hills to end out the ride, and those are my favorite. Those are the best parts of the ride, in my opinion. Like that whole, all of those six bunny hills, that's my favorite part of the ride. I mean, you're just going to be flying out of your seat consistently through those little ejector airtime hills, and then you, of course, you're going to hit the brakes. And then, I mean, like when I got this off this coaster, I was like speechless. I was so amazed on how well I liked this coaster. I mean, it was definitely definitely like when i first like wrote it i was like that is definitely the best coaster i've ever ridden and it still is to this day so it's time for the overall score and you guys guessed it i'm going to be giving this coaster a perfect score a 10 out of 10 my personal favorite coaster i've ever ridden. i've been saying telling you this like the whole video it is like hands down the best coaster i've ever ridden um better than any other coaster on the planet and i think it will be for a long time um so that is going to end my review of the world's best roller coaster in my opinion steel vengeance the greatest i mean this coaster is i'm just speechless this coaster is amazing just definitely hit it out if you had to uh, if i had to 
just chose one ride to ever ride in the whole world it will be this ride so go check it out so definitely enjoy this coaster so hope you guys enjoyed this review of steel vengeance and stay tuned for more videos coming here to coast Center productions and i'll see you guys later